Well, Pride Month is an entire month dedicated to the uplifting of LGBTQ voices, celebration of LGBTQ culture, and the support of LGBTQ rights. And our Andrea Williams tells us about an organization that has been doing just that for the last 42 years. That's right, 42 years. And today may be the last day of Pride Month, but there's this organization that will continue working to foster supportive environments where both racial and cultural barriers can be overcome and human equality realized. The National Association of Black and White Men Together was founded in San Francisco back in 1980. The Milwaukee chapter formed several years later. Mark Behar and Demetrius Mack both have served on the national board. The part that brought me in and what was, was interesting is that you had a collective group of different men, black and white, that came together, they unified for the rights, gay rights, not only just for the gay rights, but for our voting rights and all other things that are very important and that people before us that have fought for those things. They engage in the educational, political, cultural, and social activities as a means of addressing the racism, sexism, homophobia, HIV AIDS discrimination, and other inequities in our communities. We have a big problem in our country, as we all know, having to do with failure of people of differing viewpoints to understand how to communicate effectively together and how to work together through compromise. Mark Behar spent many years in the healthcare field working over a decade with Planned Parenthood. He feels that the recent reversal of Roe versus Wade could be the first step in rescinding two decades of gains in federal protections for LGBTQ plus Americans. We have to be prepared because we're not going to take it. We're not going to allow such things to have such an adverse effect on us emotionally. He recently retired from Milwaukee Health Services Incorporated, a federally qualified health center that provides a wide range of resources to the underserved community. Over the last 10 plus years, I had been working more directly with our HIV at risk patients and um, tried to provide them with the best care that we could. And those people who got with the plan and took medications as indicated are surviving and thriving. Whether working with the National Association of Black and White Men Together or making a difference throughout the community, this couple is committed to spreading awareness and the notion that there are no big eyes and little U's, but everybody is somebody. There are many things that are potentially dangerous and, and, and threatening in the horizon. One of the things that we've always felt important is the need for walking, trying to help people walk a mile in our shoes. And you know, they actually held their national conventions here in Milwaukee in 1987 and again in 2014. And their big national convention this year is going to be right up the road in Minneapolis Very cool. next month. Close by. And you know what's so special about that story is that they're representing on so many levels. Mm -hmm. And we talk about representation matters. That is a prime example of representation in our community right here in Milwaukee. It's really, really special. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. And when he said try walking a mile in someone else, the shoes. That's where the understanding and compassion comes in. So that's advice we could all take. Absolutely, sure. especially on this last day of Pride Month. Thank you for yes. that reporting. Thank you.